Five tools that I'm going to be talking about in today's video are really a must have if you're a freelance designer, design agency, or if you want to use these tools on your own website. Let's start off with the first one, and this is Fluent CRM. Now, I used to use ConvertKit and MailChimp for a very long time, but it became very expensive as my mailing list grew bigger and bigger. So I tried out Fluent CRM, and this is your email marketing automation on your own WordPress website. At first, I was very skeptical, but look at this. I've sent over 2 million emails. This is an awesome application, and I really, really, really recommend it. It's solid. I haven't had any problems. So here you can see, it's not just about sending emails. It's also about email marketing automation. If you take a look here, we have automations, and I have quite a few. And all these uh, have all have uh, stats. And if I check here on who bought Sidecrafted 2, I can go in here. And this is a basic uh, workflow. As you can see, I can go to the stats here like that. And I can see this uh, funnel had 78 people and it had 46 US dollars. I know it's not a lot, but I was experimenting with all these workflows. But this is a super powerful email marketing and automation system. Now, not only does it does uh, does it do that, it also connects very well with WooCommerce, LearnDash, and so on. So your stats here become even more, uh, more exciting. So let me show you what it looks like. So you can see here, these are all my stats. I can come over here to the WooCommerce uh, tab, and this will show me all my WooCommerce. Now, do you see it records everything, the revenue here. It has the average order value. So all the information that I need is right here. It is fantastic. Learn Dash is right here as well. So if you use Learn Dash on your, uh, Learn Dash on your system, it gives you all your stats, your total membership enrollments, and so on. All right, so let's talk about the next plugin, and this is Fluent Forms. It works really well with Fluent CRM. I'm sure you can you recognize the Fluent Fluent. It's uh, made by the same company that made Fluent CRM. It integrates very well, and you can create all types of forms. But the one I really like is the conversational forms. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So it is right here, create conversational form. So this is a form which pretty much fills up the whole uh, screen, and then it just cycles through, goes through all the stages, and it is really awesome. Now, look at that. I can just name, uh, add my name here, move on to the next step, and so on. So it's very, very exciting. And like I said, it works really well with Fluent CRM. All right, so let's move on to the third one, and this is Presto Player. Presto Player is a video player. In fact, not only is it a video player, it's the best video player for WordPress. It is amazing. So let me just show you quickly how you can add a video onto your website. So here I'm in the Media Hub. I'll just click on Add New. So you want to copy the URL. It could be maybe from YouTube, Vimeo, and so on. These are the options right here. So I'm just going to call this Test, and then I'm going to click on YouTube because I'm going to add a YouTube video and paste it. Now, what I like about Presto Player is it's very, very easy to use and it has a lot of data when it comes to collecting what is happening on your website or on your videos. So take a look here on the left. We have Muted Autoplay. It has Autoplay. It, you can play in line. We also have a poster. So here in my media library, I can just go in, select the poster. And then I also have some presets over here. We, we even have YouTube optimized. So this is really, really cool. I can even go here and brand this player. So let's say I want to change the colors. You can see here in real time, my colors are changing, which is amazing. So if you have a client or even on your website, you want to really carry over your branding colors, you can actually add these to your video player, which is really amazing. So now let's say you have all your videos in your, in your library and you want to see how the videos are performing. You can see here it has its own graphs on each video. You can also take a look at your watch time and it also tells you your total views and so on over here on the left. So let's say you want to uh, grow your email list with video. Presto Player has the option for you to create an opt-in form where the video plays up to a certain step and then... For that person to continue, you have to add an email address. Again, it is really, really cool. I also have a video where I go in depth on how Press to Player works. I'll leave that in the video description below. All right, so now let's talk about DVAI. DVAI is a game changer, especially if you want to do copywriting or you want DV to help you write code. Now, let me just give you a quick example. Here I have a heading. So instead of generating your own headings and trying to do copywriting and all of that, it's very, very uh, time consuming. I'm going to click here on DVAI options, write with AI. So I'm going to say, suggest a fantastic vegan restaurant uh, headline and then click on generate text. 
And let's see what this is going to come up with. Look at that. So let's say you're not happy with that. You can always go in and retry. I think I like that. You can just go ahead and use this text and you can continue building on your website until all your content is on your website. And also this can also do coding. Now check this out. The real cool thing about DVAI is you can also have these conversations with the AI. So let's say, for example, you want to generate CSS code. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, make this heading 22 uh, pixels and blue. I'm going to come over here to AI and notice that this is now custom CSS. I'm going to paste my prompt in here like that and then click on generate code. So now I've made it bold and blue. And if you want to use this code, I'm just going to click on that. And just by doing that, you are up and running and you have just literally generated code. Now for someone like me, I'm not a front end developer. So this assist is going to help me so much in generating AI code and make my websites look different. You can also add animations. You can do all sorts of stuff with a DV AI. So if you're a serious designer and you want to really stand out there, these are the five tools that you need in your toolbox. Now, these are not the only ones you need, but these are the ones that I really use all the time. And these are my go-to. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.